Do you ever think about who runs Twitter's Twitter account? Who makes TikToks for TikTok? Who runs social media marketing for the world's best social media marketing platform? It's Zach. Hi, Zach. I'm going to tell you all my secrets. Hey, I'm Zach from Hootsuite Social Media Team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. Today, I'm going to walk you through my personal Hootsuite dashboard to give you a sense of how I use it every day to manage five different channels with over 9 million followers. If you're already a power user, feel free to skip ahead in the timestamps to my favorite Hootsuite hacks and Easter eggs that I don't think enough people know about. Otherwise, grab your free 60-day trial if you haven't already, and let's get started. What is Hootsuite? <laughs> my life. Okay, I mean, like for me as a social media manager, Hootsuite is the one social media dashboard that brings it all together. It's, you know, it's where I plan and schedule, where I engage, where I post, where I track my results to see what's working, and just wrap my brain around my whole entire job at once, basically. Does it do everything? No. My team and I still use other tools like Google Analytics and Photoshop and Google Drive, but because of Hootsuite, we rarely have to go over to the native social platforms, which, as I'm sure you know, is very important for our sanity and mental health. It's also nice not having to switch back and forth between a bunch of tabs and apps and that sort of thing. All right, so let's take a run through of my Hootsuite dashboard. First, we'll start with the planner tool. The planner is the content calendar in Hootsuite. It's where I would personally love to spend almost all of my time if I could. So it shows you all of your posted and scheduled content at a monthly or weekly view. And with just a few clicks, you can just edit posts, pause them, or drag them around to reschedule them. Now let's look at Composer. This is where I create posts, write captions, add visuals, mentions, links, hashtags, and of course, emojis. Composer is a huge time saver because it lets me prepare my posts for all my social platforms in one place. I usually block a few hours every Wednesday to do my scheduling for the week, which frees me up to focus on bigger priorities or little emergencies day to day. And then when my post is ready, I can publish immediately, schedule it, or even let Hootsuite calculate the best time to post for maximum reach or clicks and I'll be digging into more of that in a bit, so hang tight. Okay, let's move on to Streams. Streams is a one-stop shop for engaging with your audience, keeping an eye on your competitors, listening to what people are saying about your brand, and keeping up with what's trending. You can organize your streams however you like to make it super easy to keep track of conversations, keywords, hashtags, mentions, and all your feeds. I like to customize my views so that I have a board for each social network, so TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And then on each board, I have separate streams for my published feed, my scheduled posts, and my mentions. For my role specifically, I also have these two other boards, one with all of Hootsuite's published content, and one board for what's trending, including some important keywords, and one board for crisis communications. Next stop, Inbox. So Inbox brings all of your conversations from every network in one place. Public comments, private DMs, replies, mentions, everything's here and super easy to sort through and keep track of. So one amazing feature is that you can tag or assign messages so that you or your team can address each of them properly. One shortcut I swear by is saving all of my most common replies, say your business hours or shipping costs. That way I can reply even more quickly and easily. And I can't say anything yet, but Hootsuite has some huge things on the way for social media customer care and support. I'm gonna have to do all this again when we announce aren't I? Okay, it's gonna blow your mind, I promise. Promise? Now my favorite part, analytics. Zach, you said planner is your favorite. I have two favorites. Hootsuite Analytics is where I go to find out how my posts are performing so I can do more of what's working and stop doing what's not. Because every brand on the planet has slightly different needs, everything in here is fully customizable. So you can design reports that track the specific metrics that matter to your business. For myself, I like to keep my platform separate and I built out a dashboard that shows me and my team at a glance which posts are most successful and what's driving our growth over time. And I can look at a higher level view or dive in to see which posts is responsible for a spike in engagement or followers too. Okay, now that you've seen all my secrets, I'm going to tell you more secrets. These are my top 10 all-time hacks that I want everyone who uses Hootsuite to know about. Of course, I've saved the best one for last, so make sure you watch to the end. Actually, since you're here, why don't you share your favorite social media hack or tip in the comments? I think that would be nice. Hack one, send one post to all your social networks. Okay, I know what you're thinking. 
this sounds like a really bad idea. For instance, you don't want your TikTok saying link in bio or your Facebook posts talking about retweets. And if you're at mentioning another account, their handle might differ on each platform. But I'll solve this for you right now. Hootsuite lets you fine tune each version of your post for any channel you wanna send it to. So say I wanna send a post to Instagram and Facebook and Twitter simultaneously, no problem. I just select those accounts and then edit their captions separately and Hootsuite's gonna automatically format the visuals for each network and you can adjust your tone, mentions, and hashtags for each of the networks too. No problem. Magic. Hack number two. Find the real best time to post for you. Okay, so your posts have a better chance of going viral depending on when you hit the publish button. But every network has a different algorithm and every one of your accounts has a different audience, which makes it really difficult to calculate your best times to post. Hootsuite's best time to post tool is basically a crystal ball that tells you exactly when to send out your best content. It will crunch your account's numbers on when you should post for maximum reach, engagement or clicks, network by network. It calculates these times based on your post performance for the past 30 days and takes all of the guesswork out of your content calendar. I don't think I said that last line pro properly. Okay, okay, maybe just that last line. I, hello. That's my ride. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's here. <laughs> it calculates these times based on your post performance from the past 30 days and takes all the guesswork out of your content calendar. Hack three, access all of your media files easily. Okay, I'm gonna admit that my camera roll and desktop are always a total disaster of downloads and screen caps, but at work, I have Hootsuite paired with Google Drive and Widen so that I can pull directly from my content folders into my posts. Whatever asset management system you use, we actually probably have an integration in our app directory. Okay, hack four, track success with link tracking. UTM codes are snippets of code added to the end of a URL. At Hootsuite, whenever we add a link to a post, we use UTM so we can find out how many people are actually clicking through on our content post by post. Then we can compare those link clicks to overall post impressions to calculate a click-through rate, which tells us how successful our campaigns are. With link setting in Hootsuite, you can organize all of your UTM presets for the organization so everyone can use them really easily. When you add them to your list, they'll show up in the drop-down menu for your whole team to use. <laughs> Hack five, see your top posts immediately. One super simple little trick I use is to look for posts marked with the fire emoji to identify top performers. If they haven't already been caught by our auto boost feature, which automatically promotes posts that get more than 500 likes, I just add some budget to them to make sure that they get more views. It's like putting more gas in the fire, you know? Hack six. Filter your results for instant reporting. So if I don't want to build out a new custom report in Hootsuite Analytics, I use the impact tool. What it does is it quickly searches uh, by keyword, link, or tags to sort through all of your published content, and then it gives you an immediate look into what's driving success. It's super helpful. Promise? Hack seven, save time with the save for later button. I keep track of really awesome content across all my networks by using the save for later function in the more options menu. So if I want to use it as inspiration or reply to it later, I'll find it in the saved items page. This is my personal treasure trove of just amazing stuff. Hack eight, share your results super easily. So whenever I need to share results with my team or my boss, I like to make a copy of whatever report I'm working on. That way I can edit it so that it's easy to digest as possible. Like, you know, maybe a pie chart is more helpful than a line graph, or maybe I wanna make this one chart way bigger or get rid of something irrelevant. And I usually add some notes about wins or lessons and let's be real, fails. And then all I do is I, I download it as a PDF or PowerPoint and I can just send it off and it's super easy for who's ever reading it to understand. Hack nine, get data you can't get anywhere else. Hootsuite offers some per post analytics you won't find on the native apps. For example, in analytics under post performance, you can see the engagement rate of each of your TikTok videos. Hootsuite also keeps your analytics data going back years, whereas the native insights sometimes cut you off at 60 or even just 30 days, which means you're in trouble if you went on vacation and forgot to grab your data. And finally, my favorite Hootsuite hack of the year, Hack 10, schedule Instagram Reels and TikToks at the same time. If I've learned one thing this year, and I've only learned one thing this year, it's that I cannot make a TikTok every day. Like, I don't shave often enough for that. I don't, I don't, I don't have enough chapstick for that. I need little soft lips for TikTok. <laughs> Liz, where's my chapstick? But I can make a bunch once a week and schedule them ahead of time. TikTok and Instagram Reels are both pretty finicky to schedule natively, but Hootsuite will let you schedule them so they post directly. No push notifications or anything annoying like that. And you can schedule the same video to go out to both networks from Hootsuite. 
You can even schedule your TikToks from the Hootsuite mobile app, and TikTok won't let you do that. That's just, just saying. All right, now that you've learned about the best social media tool, it's time to refresh your social media strategy to take advantage of all these hacks. This video about how to update your strategy goes over the exact steps you'll want to take to overhaul or fine tune your social media so that you can build on your wins and cut your losses. Bye for now, friends. Ha, ha, ha.